All right, race seven. Here we are at the top mark. What's all, what's happening? It looks like our, our yesterday's regatta leader is uh, putting it together here. Andy. Yeah, Roxanne, Kip Meadows. This was a boat speed weather leg, and Kip Meadows and Andy Hart have the speed here to get to the top mark at first. They're going to round first. All they have is a downwind run to uh, to win this race. And second, they have a two, big lead too. Yeah, they have a nice lead. You see Andy Horton there on the transom of Roxanne with Kip Meadows going there, for the hoist at the offset. There's been a, there have been a ton of lead changes in this race. Now, Phil Lotz is rounding second from Newport. Phil Lotz with the Melgus 24 World Champion Tactician Richard Clark on the boat. They're going to round second. Then Robert Hughes, who rounded the last mark in first, he's going to round third, a sailing heartbreaker. Those are the top three right now. Kip Meadows had a nice wave. set. He's jumped down with. Look at this wave. Oh! Yeah, nice chop here. Here come the Great Brits and Joe Woods and Red. Round of the mark in fourth. And then right after that is Alex Jackson with Steve Benjamin and Mark Ivey on the boat. Lena Barca, USA 174 in fifth. We're going to have a talk with Alex at the dock. He promised to tell us a little bit about Speedboat and uh, what their plans are. Then you got John Kilroy in Samba with Eric Arn, Sam Rogers, and the rest of the guys from San Francisco. Getting ready for the set as they turn down the wave there. Let's make it. Let's make a turn, a gradual turn to the left. Get out of here. Just we got to go early because these guys are going so fast downwind as we watch Star go around just to weather a shakedown. Um, they're so fast that we got to leave early, <laughs> or we just never get there. New wave around at the first weather mark and first had that wipeout. Now they're in about 11th or so. You think that's the same kite? I don't know. Yeah, it's the same. Looks kite. wet. It is. It's wet. <laughs> same kite though. Here we go. We'll watch them for a bit. The boat that took it on the chin is the red boat and Andy Lovell. They had a tough weather beat. It's going to be interesting to see what the scores are. Where are they? They're right back through here. Wow, so Andy Lovell taking the regatta lead after a great first race and it all falling apart here for this race, but I think I don't think there's any boat that hasn't had a, a high team finish, you know. No, they've all had rough races and those guys are obviously awesome sailors. It's going to be interesting to see what happens going into the last race with the scorecard. Look at Jeff Eklund's star rip down wind. Crew hiking out, way down, really flying. Chuck Norris flying the kite, one of the best swimmers out here, making the boat rip down wind. Nice drive. One thing Star does is they do really nice Mexican jives. We might see a really cool Mexican jive coming up here with Jeff Eklund's star, bound number 19. And what do you mean by that? Rather than trying to pull the lazy sheet around on the jive, they actually keep the clue at a trim point and let the kite blow through the rig as they turn the boat. And that's There's, something that that's something that 49ers and uh, you know that's been that's scout technique. sailing, yeah, yeah scout 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 too. sailing 49ers. And the Italians have been doing a lot of that on their 32s. And I think we're going to have an opportunity to see one of those good jives. They approach the ley line here. Well, they're going to go up for one more wave, I think. Yeah, a lot of big waves for them. Wow. There goes Kilroy on the Watch guide. Samba. They're doing a traditional guy, pulling the crew around, kite fills, main Here goes the Jeff. Let's goes watch Jeff that jive. Watch the, the kite blow through. Now, a little, bit of a little up slow, there. but. Not one of their best, but still one of the best handling boats out here. 